it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo for the month of July. So this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the month of July. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. What do we have for Virgo for the month of July? Ooh, the garden and the gate. Now, when I get this card, it feels like we have somebody that has been waiting. Somebody's been waiting. They've been waiting for an arrival. They've been waiting for somebody to come. Um, wondering if the grass is greener on the other side. Uh, not going through that gate, but if they would just go through the gate, there's nothing to wait for. It's time to go. It looks like it is definitely time to go. It's it's beautiful over there, so um, I feel like it's time for a change with the butterflies. That's a that's a time of transformation. Somebody's it's it's almost like they're waiting waiting in vain waiting for when you can just go, just go. What what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Somebody's waiting when they should just be going. Go through that gate. It's like the door is closed, but you have the opportunity to open the door. Open the door yourself and go. So, you know, I don't know why we got somebody here waiting for something when, you know, all you have to do is go. It's beautiful over there. Just go. Just go. Um, looks like somebody has changed, you know, in this time of solitude, in this time of waiting. I think that there's been some sort of blossoming, right? There's, they see the blossoms. It's like somebody's you know, uh, maybe their gifts have blossomed, their inner gifts, their intuition. It's interesting because I wanted to start this reading out with intuition about listening to your intuition, but I didn't because I, I don't know, I, before I turned the camera on, I was planning on doing Virgo next because I have a plan on how I'm going to do these readings and I thought something about intuition. And I think your intuition has really, really grown and you need to start listening. Stop stalling. Okay, all you have to do is open the door. Just go. Just go. What are you waiting for? You know, stop waiting around. So I think you've been waiting for something, and I think it's time for you to just open that door, go down that path, and step into the new world that you have been neglecting to, to step into. Now, uh, your prayers have been heard, because that's that's the number three. Okay, your prayers have been heard. Um you've changed you've been through a period of growth now it's time for you to not only listen to your mind but listen to your spirit okay you, you what does your spirit want you to do it you know i think that you know that it's time to go but you're you're holding out waiting for something and i think you need to stop your waiting um what do we have for Virgo. Now, what I just heard in my mind was Taurus. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus. I was like, I almost said Taurus a couple times, which is interesting. Oh, I guess we'll take those. What do we have for Virgo? You're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. But you notice the arrow is pointing to go. Cracked cup. Dissatisfaction with life. Yeah? Horseshoe. Good luck. It's a good time for you to go through that door that you have been neglecting to go through. Scales. Keep your life in balance. And that's what you've been doing, right? That's why you're where you're at. Because you want to keep things in balance. Um, but it is definitely a good time for you to follow your heart. I know that it is. And when you get a cup, cups are about hearts, right? They are. It's about love. There's a dissatisfaction with your love life. You're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Now, you could be on the right path if you would take action. You notice there's an arrow. Usually, you know, if you put an arrow in the bow, what happens? It springs into action, right? It's movement. So you know that it's time. I know because we have a path right here. Remember I said to go down that path? 
The path that you are thinking about going down is the right path. Stop wasting your time, please. What do we have for Virgo for the month of July? Ooh, King of Cups. You may be dealing with a water sign. Doesn't have to be. But the King of Cups is a very feeling individual. Uh, very loving. Wanting a relationship. Looking for love. Looking for romance. Now, whether this is you, feminine or masculine, this is about love. It's about wanting to be loved. It's wanting unconditional love, right? Looking for love very romantic energy so for some of you you're either looking for love or somebody is around you that is very charming very charming very loving has a really really big heart um, but it looks with like this guy is thinking he's thinking about his next move and there's something about um, following your heart and <laughs> interesting so you really do need to follow your heart the fool, new beginning here, stepping into a new life, starting a new, uh, new chapter. Um, this is a fresh start, freedom, a new beginning, starting a new journey. Some of you are moving as well, and you may be planning because this guy ap appears to be planning. He does. So somebody may be planning their next move, um, but they're going to need to let go of the fear and just do it. Step forward with blind faith. Do what your heart wants. Step forward with blind faith. A new phase is about to begin. And you got you can't let fear hold you back. Some of you may be stepping into uh, you know, uncharted territory. And it's like in the name of love, right? Looking for love. Seven of Wands reversed. So this is quitting or stepping stepping down the lovers oh boy Virgo you got a choice in love you got a choice you need to make a choice between two people your heart wants one thing and I think that you've been procrastinating you've been stalling you've been trying to keep your life in balance you uh, are dissatisfied with where you're at and you have another connection here that is very, very strong. Somebody could be waltzing into your life if they haven't already all of a sudden or that's what happened. They just waltzed right in and it's a perfect match. Okay, this is a perfect match. This is a real lover here. We have the lovers and the king of cups and the fool. This is this is a very carefree, easy, uh, easy feeling um, love, okay? There's a strong sexual connection, a strong desire, and you may be feeling defeated by these feelings, defeated by how you're, you know, needing to surrender. Okay, both these cards are about surrendering. So somebody is needing to surrender to what their heart wants. Now this is an unexpected choice in love. But there's some sort of consequences here. There is. Queen, so, so we have a soulmate connection. We have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, and we have the Lover's card here. We have a soulmate connection here. And it feels like we, we have a, a woman with a really big heart and a man with a really big heart. And if you're in a same-sex relationship, it's a feminine and a masculine, okay? We have two very big-hearted individuals who are thinking about each other and who want to be together. But there's some sort of circumstances that are in the way of them being together, there is something that is in the way. It's a partner. It's another partner. That lover is there. It is. It's, an, an, it's like an angel, okay, brought these two people together all of a sudden, right? And there's a need to stop fighting it. Why? Somebody is fighting the connection. But it feels as though the masculine energy is really, really, and maybe the masculine is fighting it. Doesn't want his... 
a wife or his girlfriend to follow her heart. I mean, it could go both ways. It could go many, many, many different ways. We definitely have a masculine that is thinking long and hard about giving up. Okay, this is about giving up. He feels. He knows. Okay, this is a very intuitive energy. He know he may know that the person that he is with is in love with somebody else. There is also, I mean, we could go another route. We may have we have a may have a masculine here that is feeling defeated by a love and you know, decide suddenly to go in a new direction. So something going on here about taking a leap of faith, um, stepping down from a situation they've been fighting for, giving up. Hmm. Oh, we definitely have a major new beginning here. We do. This is the end of a cycle, an end of a something very prominent in your life. There's a phase of your that is ending. Okay, we have the fool here, and we have the world here. So we have a new chapter uh, that is about to begin. The world is a completion of a project, something very prominent in your life, something that you did for a period of time, something to do with the number 21, okay? Um, it's over. It's done. It's done. So this is the end of something significant. It could be a marriage, could be... Uh, a job that you had for a long time could be a career something that really really uh, had an impact on your life it was a it was a journey for you it was something significant it's over okay it's time to leave it behind and step into your new life we do have a new beginning here some of you are moving you're moving to a different part of the world or you're moving to a new home there's travel here that is leaving it all behind and going someplace else um, This world card is, a, is an ending. It is. This is an accomplishment. Something. It's freedom as well. With the fool in the world, we have freedom. Freedom. A completion. A completion that allows you to start over someplace else. Something is going to happen that is going to give you the opportunity to start over someplace else and it could be somebody that has been you know fighting for a connection that isn't there maybe that person is stepping down because this seven of wands is giving up the fight and maybe it's you something has caused a person's evolution Okay, something has. And there is, a, there is an, another opportunity here for love that you did not expect. And it is sudden with that Fool card. Three of Wands. This is uh, get prepared. Get prepared for a departure or an arrival. Okay, um, this is just getting on board. What you've been waiting for is arriving or has arrived. Your new beginning is arriving, just so you know. The last, this last chapter, this last phase is over. Something is about to show up. Whatever it is, it's, it's big. It is big. It's something you've been praying for. It is, and I can see that you've been praying here. It's like you've been praying for somebody to come to the rescue, and I think, I, and I think that it, that somebody is coming to the rescue, and this may this may have something to do with a ship, you know. Um, I don't know what that ship means, but maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. I don't know. Um, I'm just looking all around and I don't know why why to or we have we have uh Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. We have Gemini, we have Aries. But I think that you really 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 need to get prepared and it's time for you to focus on the future with that 3 of wands. You've been waiting for an arrival, hoping and praying, being optimistic and I'm telling you what, it's it's here. It's here. This is uh it really is uh, somebody, it's like somebody is arriving or has arrived. 
they've already arrived that that is this is somebody that you have a lot in common with there are, there's there's shared values okay this is kindred spirits this is a perfect match okay um and there's something to do with travel there's something there is there's something to do with travel here I'm not sure if you met this person before and this has been on hold for some reason. It feels and it has been on hold. It feels like it's been on hold. I think there's going to be a change of residence here for some of you. You're moving. swords this is exhausted and there's prayers here there is definitely some prayers that have been answered i know that there is it's like there's 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 a woman with a really big heart that has been praying for the answers been praying for the answers and remember and i think they've been ignoring their intuition very intuitive individual that has been getting the message but not listening but this connection is so deep. It is so strong. <sighs> but this is the death of a situation that breaks somebody free and gives them the opportunity to follow their heart in a new direction. Something is ending so that you can get the love that you have been dreaming about. And I think that two people are going to be coming together. I absolutely positively do. It is a it's it's what you've been praying for. And I don't like to say that. I feel like I've been saying it a lot lately. Um this person, there's like a healer. We have a healer here. This could be you know, a psychic or a medium or a nurse or a counselor or somebody that is very kind and generous and, you know, loves unconditionally or loves and loves, 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 that it feels like this person has been waiting, been waiting and uh, having a hard time though, having a hard time uh, stepping into new territory. But something is happening that is going to break somebody free so that these two people can come together. Okay? There is. This is a, this is a soulmate connection that is undeniable. I feel like uh, there's been a delay. There's been a separation. There's been some distance. There is distance. There is distance. I feel like there's been, it's been a long time coming, okay, it took a really long time for this to come to fruition, but I'll, here it is, it's like I've been waiting forever, I have been, you know, that's what, that's what he, we got here, but this person has been scared, been scared, seriously, been scared to step into unknown territory. But this is a dead end. So something ends that break, and there is freedom a couple times, that breaks somebody free. This, this is a, a healing type of love. There are two, There's definitely two people coming together that are um, going to help each other to heal. They're both healers. There's They are. So this masculine has been thinking about his next move. Aha, we got a high priestess here. We definitely have a healer. We have a healer. We have a, a psychic medium, a tarot card reader, spiritual teacher, somebody that is very, very... Um, well, she's very seductive, okay? The high priestess is very, very seductive. Very self-sufficient. Can take care of herself very, very, or himself very, very well. Somebody has their eyes on this person. This person is uh, very graceful, very, uh, I, I want to say seducing, seductive. Somebody has their eyes on this person. And, and, and this person has a divine connection, has a divine connection to the universe, to a higher power. 
very intuitive, like I said at the beginning, highly intuitive, very receptive, knows, you know, has that inner knowing. Quiet, seems to be very quiet. This person, somebody, these two people are coming together. We have a very, um, this is a spiritual person. Entering. The, both these people are spiritual. They're on the same level. They are definitely on the same level. So we have two people coming together. This high priestess, there's deep, deep, deep feelings here. These two people may be dreaming about, about each other a lot. Oh my God, this is the answer to prayers, the star card. This is, this is definitely the answer to some, somebody's prayers. This is wish fulfillment. This is a dream come true. Somebody's prayers have been answered, okay? This is a dream come true. Somebody's been wishing for this arrival. They've been wishing for this soulmate. They've been wishing, they've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And I'm telling you what, your prayers have been heard and here they come. Your prayers have been heard. It's the end of stagnation. It's the end of loneliness, okay? If you're single, okay? Somebody is coming in that you manifested or you wished for, or you asked for, or you asked for this person. And this is a soulmate connection. If you are in a coupled relationship right now, you may be, uh, you may have been struggling with ending a chapter or a cycle with another individual, um, but it's over now. Something is happening that causes this freedom, that causes a completion because of the fool in the world. Something is going to happen. You may have sensed it coming, coming, or somebody's intuition may tell them, you know, it's time to go. I got, I'm going to have to, I have to leave this behind because this other connection is so strong. I know this is the one. I really know this is the one. So anyway, there is a connection here with somebody that uh, is a soulmate, okay? And there's an inner knowing that you're meant to be with this person. And I know that I'm focusing on love because that's what this is about. This is definitely about love. With the lovers, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, this is about love, okay? Um, it's a, this is some sort of guaranteed success. This is a this is a guaranteed successful union, okay, with the star and the lovers, okay? It's a it's it's guaranteed success. It's a blessing. Somebody is being blessed with uh, exactly what they asked for. It's like the waiting is over. I feel like there's been a there's some sort of distance here. But this person is, if you haven't met this person yet, which I think, I think you have, you have met, you may have met this person three years ago or something like that. I don't know where three years comes from, but that just flew out of my mouth. Um, and now you're going to come together with this person. Um, good luck. <laughs>